In this example, it's asking us to find the limit of each of these three functions as x approaches zero. Uh, if you look at each function, they look very similar. The only real difference is their behavior of each of these graphs at x equals one. So for this first one, you can see that the function is not defined at x equals one. There's a hole in our graph at x equals one. Um, in this one, it's a piecewise function. It's the same function that we have in f of x, but then when x equals one, it's defined to be one, giving us this point. And in h of x, it's just a line, x equals one. And this line actually happens to be the result of simplifying this quotient, this rational function. So how does this different behavior at x equal one impact their limits? So if you recall, the limit is um, the value that our function approaches as x approaches a specific value from either side. So if we're looking at our function here, we can see as I approach x from both the left and the right, what is happening to my graph? Well, my y values are getting closer and closer to two, right? It's getting close to two. It doesn't equal two here because it's not defined at two. But as I approach from the left and as I approach from the right, my graph is getting closer and closer to two. So that ends up making it the limit. So this limit is two. Even though it's not defined, it doesn't actually have to be defined. It just has to be approaching that number. So the limit here is two. Uh, what about in this second example, or this second part of this example, as I approach from the left and the right, um, so as I'm getting close to one from the left, you can see that my x value here, or as my x value gets close to one, my y value is getting close to two here. And then the same thing here on this side, right? It's getting close to two here. But at x equals one, it's defined to be one. Now, even though it's defined to be one here, remember the in that informal definition, it says the value that our function approaches as x approaches a, except at x equals a. So at x equals a, it's one, but it's not approaching one from either side. From either side, as I get closer and closer and closer to one, if I were to pick something like 0 0.9999999999, it would end up being 1.9999999999. Or if I picked 1.0000001, it would be 2.0000001. So the values from either side are getting closer and closer and closer to two. The fact that a G is defined to be one here at X equals one actually has no impact on the limit. So the limit is also two, even though it's defined to be something different. Uh, and then in this last one, it's just a line. It's continuous. There's no holes, no breaks. It's filled in here at one. So as x approaches one from both sides, the actual value of the function itself is one too. You can see that it's defined to be one there. Um, but again, that doesn't really impact the limit. We care more about what it is as it approaches. So this limit is also two, and it happens to be defined to equal two at that value there. Um, so these three are similar graphs. The only difference is their behavior at one, and it actually has no impact. Those different behaviors have no impact on the limit, because again, we're talking about the value as we approach, as we approach one from either side. Um, so that limit would be two. Uh, in this situation, we have a piecewise function, and it's asking us to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 5. Um, they give us this hint that making a graph, a sketch of the graph, might help. So we want to know what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 5. We want to know this limit. Okay, so this piecewise function is basically just telling us that we have like a horizontal line um, so it's saying f of x equals one when x is not five. So everywhere except for at five. So here's five. So everywhere except for at five, it's equal to this horizontal line here, y equals one. Um, it's equal to y equals one. However, at five, at five right here, it's not equal to one. So there's gonna be like a hole here. 
it's equal to negative 2. I'm actually going to move this over here. It's going to be down here at negative 2. So we have the point here, 5, negative 2. Um, and so this horizontal line, this is what the graph looks like, right? OK, so what would our limit be? What would our limit be? Well, as I approach 5 from the left, you can see that the y values are always 1. And then as I approach 5 from the right, again, my y values are always 1. Now, at 5 itself, it's not equal to 1. It's equal to negative 2. But the value, the y value stays the same this whole time. So its limit is going to be 1. 